down in Temple, Texas. Uh, so there's never been a season where both Midway and Temple entered their meeting with one another with losing records. But that is the case this year. Uh, they're both one and five, so that makes them two and ten overall combined. It's not a long series. They've only played uh, seven times, or this will be their seventh time um, since 2012. I guess this will be the eighth time because uh, Midway won the first six. Temple broke through last year with its first win in a big way, 44-10. to 10. Um, I was at that game. Uh, we've had a little bit of a new development in uh, the Midway-Temple game this week as uh, looks like Shane Anderson probably won't be coaching the Panthers uh, as the school district looks into – a personal situation not uh, involving a student. Um, that is on WacoTrib.com if you want to read about that. Uh, a little bit of a weird, uh, you know, backdrop for this game. But who do you guys feel like gets win number two on Friday night at Wildcat Stadium? Another game I had a hard time picking, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to lean with Temple on this one just because watching midway last week i have very little confidence in their line of scrimmage play mm -hmm. on both sides of the ball just the way that um harker heights was able to carve up and make gaps for itself so that their rush their run game could get through and then defensively just um you know like Ty Brown was scrambling out there. Mm. I feel like that he he was uh, not able to set up passes right and uh, had to you know move around a lot. And I, I just I don't know if I have a lot of confidence in in the lineman right now. That's fair. That's fair. Chad, what do you think? Yeah, I flipped my pick on this one. I had done all my picks yesterday afternoon, and, and that news kind of popped up last night. And uh, yeah, I just don't. I mean, I don't think that. Uh, Midway was gaining some momentum in some ways. Um, and this kind of, yeah, seems like it would trip that up. Now it also is like a wild card. You kind of don't know what's going to happen with it. Um, but I'll go with Temple on that. Uh, it's not, you know, it's a lot more fun when we're talking about how good Temple and Midway are rather than them getting their second win of the season, you know. Fair enough. Um, I mean, we've documented Midway's non-district schedule plenty. Um, I think that certainly has helped or led to some of the losses piling up for the Panthers because uh, there's not a lot of 6A teams that are going to beat Vandergrift. Um, you know, Mansfield's pretty good. Permian's pretty good. You know, they, they played some tough teams and they were in a lot of those games. Um, I do feel like uh, maybe Temple took a step forward this pack, past week in a close loss to Pflugerville Weiss, who I feel like is pretty good. Um, whereas, as DJ said, Midway might have taken a little bit of a step back against Harker Heights. Um, and then you add, you know, what they're dealing with as a program on top of that. As Chad said, I don't know, you know, it could be a rallying point. Who knows? Um, but I also... Uh, made my picks before uh, this news about Shane Anderson came down. And I also, like Chad, I'm going to go back and flip my pick to Temple now. Um, where I do feel like Midway has an opportunity here is Temple's defense has not been good this year. They bled points early in the season. They were, uh, they were just giving up yards and points like crazy. Um, so, I think Midway could probably score. It's just, can Midway get out of its own way? That's been a lot of its problem this year uh, is just some self-inflicted wounds. So we shall see. I'll be there on Friday. 